here for the most part to talk about the cleats themselves, the Puma Eagle Touch. Can you tell us anything about you know your familiarity with them and, and just what you think, just initial thoughts when you first saw them? I like because uh, I have problems in my Achilles now. Mm -hmm. That season was difficult for me, so Puma now make a different style with this part. I think I have less press in my Achilles. This part that they created, do you, did you have any input in the design? Did you help help them make that decision to input that? Yes, of course, we speak a lot uh, every time uh, to make the best things for everyone. Mm -hmm. So this part is very important because last season this shoe was difficult for me and I feel something uh, now in my Achilles, but with this part I feel uh, less press in my Achilles, so it helped me a lot. So uh, just the parts of the, you know, there's leather here, there's the grip text, there's the grip touch. How do you feel about the different components themselves? For me, it's a very important thing to leather. No. I feel much better with leather. No? I play a lot of years with, with leather. I don't want to change this, this part. So, But the rest of the boots, I think it's uh, easier for the players to play with, with these boots. You know, it's a great touch. Uh, you feel good, uh, you foot every time. So. So while you were out injured, was there anything um, specific that you do with rehab? Do you have surgery? Did you, how do you help heal and become better? If you are injured, you need to, you need to be uh, positive. It's true, it's difficult sometimes because you want to play every game, you want to train uh, every day in training ground, but sometimes you can't do that. But you need to be positive. If not, it's a uh, very bad thing for, for myself, so I need to stick on with positive uh, attitude. So here, obviously, we're in LA, um, America. This is your first time here? Yes, yeah, in LA, I I come uh, two years ago, maybe to play in New York against Red Bull, okay. but I never been before to, to the West to Coast. Here. Yeah, the and, best uh, coast. And yeah. The best coast. Uh, so I hope to come uh, more times. Yeah. How do you feel about Major League Soccer and some of the improvements? Have you noticed any improvements in the league? Of course, every year improve a lot yeah. because. Uh, some uh, great players every year. Uh, I spoke with David Villa, for example, and he said me every year is uh, much, much better. It's, uh, I spoke with uh, Kaká too, and it's very happy here. He said uh, in the future will be great league, and uh, it's a great league, and uh, I hope uh, will be better in, in the future. Yeah. I think one of the things that would help the league is if Santi came and played in the league. Do you see yourself ever playing in MLS one day? We will see, yeah. I don't know. We will see, hard to say. <laughs> Not in Arsenal, uh, yeah. so, so you never here. know what's happening in football, but uh, it's a good treat, it's true. Very nice, very nice. Do you, so you mentioned that you talked to Kaká, you talked to Giovinco, a lot of the players that we Americans look up to, they're friends of yours? How, how do you know them? It's a good players. I, I spoke with, with Giovinco and I said, how are you here in the MLS? I said, I'm very happy here because I play against them when he played for Juventus. For me, it's a great, great player, but he's happy here. Kaká is the same, David Villa, so... The most important thing is uh, they are happy here and enjoy it. Absolutely. So right now you're wearing the new kit, the home suit, the uh, home strip. I like, I like, yeah. I like the home. For me, it's the favorite because uh, this club they have a history with these colors. So I love this one. It's true. Every day, every year, improve a lot. So in that locker room, do you have any like best friends or who do you hang out with most? I heard you say Hector, Nacho, some of the Spanish boys, you think? Yeah, of course, because you always speak in your language, you know, about uh, Nacho, uh, Hector, before Mikel Arteta, uh, Ospina. Uh, it's normal, no? When you, when you are out of your country, you, you try to speak in, uh, in your language. So like all of them is very important for me in the, in the club. Do you, in London, do you ever hang out with maybe like a Cesc Fabregas, someone from a different team? But yes, also maybe yes. from your same home? Of course, sometimes because yeah. we are friends, no? We play uh, national team together, so we live in the same place. So sometimes we, we go to dinner or to lunch with families. Soccer Loco.